Harvey Proctor, welcome to Five News tonight. Hello. An emotional day for you today. Yes. We saw tears earlier on. It must have been overwhelming. I don't think there were tears. I think there were uh, held back emotions or trying to hold them back because this has been going on for a very long time. So it's a sense of relief. Um, you called because of this for the Home Secretary and the head of the Metropolitan Police to resign. Do you really think they should? And do you really think they will? I think I said in, uh, uh, in statements I've made that I don't think anybody will resign. They should, but I don't think they will. I think the Home Secretary should look at her position with regard to Hogan Howe and the Metropolitan Police, given that she appointed reappointed him for another year. I don't think he will serve another year. I think he will go before Christmas. But you can appreciate how difficult it is, given the atmosphere at the moment surrounding general allegations of this sort, how difficult it is for the police to investigate fully. No one has suggested that the police should not investigate the matter. The point is the manner of the investigations and it is in law stated that the police should expedite these investigations. They have not carried out this investigation expeditiously. Uh, just expand upon that for me, please. Well, they have taken an awful long time to deal with in, uh, allegations which were incredible. At the outset, the police said they were credible and true. It took them 10 months to retract the word true. That's not dealing with matters expeditiously. I could go into other details of their investigation, but generally they have not, they've dragged their feet. Do you think it could have been different if perhaps you were allowed to keep your anonymity until their investigations has finished? Not just for VIPs, but I think all um, suspects should maintain their anonymity up to the point of charge, and that's what the law used to be. You've also written quite a lengthy book about your experiences, written entirely on your own. How has it felt to put your feelings down in words about this experience? It has been very emotional to write um, this last six months about myself and what has happened in my life, because this is just one of a whole series of things which has caused difficulty. Um, in 1986-87, I was involved in what was regarded then to be a scandal. It took me 28 years to get over that, to rehabilitate my life, and the police smashed it down in 15 hours in March of last year. Do you think that you've been scapegoated because you're gay? Yes. Why? I've been told that by people after my press conference in August of last year who contacted my solicitors and had dealings with detectives operating uh, for Operation Midland, that that was the case. I, I write about it in my book. So what now for you? I don't know. Um, I have no home. I have no job. Um, I have no present. I have no future. Um, I'm not a wealthy man. I need to work. I need to gain income. So one of the things of today and, and uh, this last week or so has been to try to say, I'm available. I need a job. 